The sandwich order sheet is designed to start out blank, with no fields pre-filled for the user. But not all forms you build will be that way. When you need to pre-fill forms, whether it be with some default values, or with data pulled from a data source in instances where you are editing a record, with traditional form elements, you set value attributes on those elements in markup. With the form model being represented in code, and with Angular handling binding those values to the form elements, there are a couple of ways to set these values in code. For default values, I showed in the earlier videos how the creation of controls using the formbuilder.control method provides you the opportunity to set default values. So like on the specialty sandwich control, I can set that to a default value of the string the grinder, which is one of this deli's famous sandwiches. And when Angular processes the template, it will handle setting the value of that form element to this initial value. The specialty sandwich control is going to get used by an HTML select element. So this would result in the option with the value the grinder being the one selected. For the checkboxes, you can give those a default value of a boolean of true. And when Angular processes the template, it will set that input to checked by default. You can do the same on these radio button state objects if you want to set their default state to be checked using the boolean true there as well. Okay, I'm going to clear these changes out since I don't want the order sheet to have any of these defaults. So setting default values at the point in which you create your form model representation is pretty straightforward. But the execution time at which you can do this is a bit more tricky. The build form method is called from the constructor and is getting executed when Angular is creating this component, which happens before the build of the view from the template. So the form is ready to go by then. But in the case where the component for the form supports input bindings, where you craft a component to have a property that can be used on the element, pass in some data, like say a record model, well that input value won't be available in the Angular lifecycle until the method ngOnInit or later is called. So if I had an ngOnInit method in this component, I would want a way to use values from that input property to set up the form's initial values. Well that's where the method named update value that's on controls comes into play. I can get a handle to a control, like the customer name, by using the order sheet form and calling the find method on it, and use the type assertion as space control. And then I can call update value off of that variable, passing in the value I want to set it to as the first argument. And the second argument, I have the option to tell Angular whether I want it to emit a value changes event when I set this value or not. How you set this is going to be based on the logic, if any, that you end up writing in connection to the value changes observable for that particular control. If you want the logic to run when you set this initial value, let update value emit the event. If not, tell it to ignore the event. Again, the order sheet form does not need to load up with any initial values, so I'm going to back out of these changes. But those are the two ways that you can preload the form model representation with data, through the default value in creating controls and through the update value method.